Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing where you join me on a day where I have some very very exciting news for you all which is all going to make sense right now. Before we head to Austria I want to explain there is some very very exciting news and that is I have gone and bought another car. Yes, you are hearing this exactly correctly. There is another car en route to the garage and I cannot wait to share what this is going to be. And in this video in Austria, it might give you a few clues. It's very, very spontaneous what has just happened. And myself and Tom, Mr. TGE, you may have seen recently, we are making videos together of us uh, when we were driving around talking about a certain car that we were going to go halves and blah, blah, blah. On his channel tomorrow, he's going to be releasing news on it. And on Tuesday, I'm going to be doing the first drive in this car. So I'm going to be show, sharing that as well. Um, but yeah, very spontaneous, very last minute. And yeah, I can't quite believe it. Another car is coming to the garage. It's very exciting. And literally, two days ago, I wasn't even thinking that this was going to happen in the next couple of days. But there is another car. And it's, I love the buzz of it. And it's going to be epic. Just wait, wait, wait. It's going to be epic. But... Look out for the clues in this video in Austria because it might tell you a few things. Put your guesses down below what you think this car should be and if you get it in this video as well. But three, two, one, to Austria we go. in what is a pretty awesome car and uh, you also join me oh you can't actually see anything it's white well, outside I, I don't know where the road is <laughs> you join me with tom tge have we gone wrong here where uh, we're about to go off the edge of a cliff <laughs> where's the road mate the road's here just keep it in a straight line mate uh, seriously back it off back it off you're going too fast back it off you're going to slide off. If we slide off, we're going to hit that building. We are here because Mercedes have kindly invited us to drive the new Mercedes G350 diesel in Austria. Yep. They would have seen we've already made a couple of or maybe some Austrian videos already of us being here. But this was the big secret. We couldn't talk about it. But we are one of the first nice. people in the world to drive this car. And we are doing it in conditions where we're probably going to be the last to drive it because we're about to put it on our roof. <laughs> And you're having a great time. I am actually quite stressed. And our destination, our first destination, handbrake up. It's our, no, 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 not handbrake up. So here I am and we are outside and as you can see the weather is uh, is fairly torrential with snow. Yep. This is carnage. Can you even see me? Well, I don't know if we can see you or not, but look where we are. This is ridiculous. It's so cool. We both look like idiots. How's your footwear, mate? <laughs> oh. Ridiculous. They're soaking through already. I, I... Oh no, better, but... I've only got one pair of shoes. We are here obviously to drive the new Mercedes 350 diesel and the perfect man to have alongside me right. for this video is Mr. Tom at TG because he owns the petrol version of this car so they have effectively gone and made a diesel version of this. Yep. And what I want to do in this video is not only are we driving it in the snow, we'll probably be driving up mountains and going down black runs and stuff like that. Oh no, you've got a name badge. Oh, where's my one? I don't think you need it. You're famous. Yeah, my name's Archie Hamilton. It's here. I think they know our name. This is pretty surreal. It's chaos. It is very, very good. Um, right, should we talk about the differences? Diesel engine. Yep, it's powered by a new 3 litre diesel engine, pumping out 286 brake horsepower and 0 to 60 will take 7.4 seconds. There we go, there's a the man with the stats. And is that very dissimilar to your current G-Wagon or how does that compare? Uh, my current G-Wagon pumps out 557 brake horsepower and 0 to 60 takes about four and a half, I believe. But this is probably a car which is a little bit more for uh, people that want to save on fuel. Just a bit more of a daily. I mean, dailying the G63 is probably a little bit silly. Yes. And this is a, a bit more of a wafter. You have sort of this newer sort of dash, which looks very, very cool. And I love that as well. It's much newer in here and it's just wicked. If we, 
Never have any luck with that? Oh, Tom's got the key. Tom's got the key. Anyway, but you can see here, it's very cool and it all sort of goes along there. Uh, your passenger has a lovely sort of something to hold on with. It's just seriously cool, seriously comfortable. And these cars, they're just a massive experience. They're sort of sat very upright and everything else. Compared to the SVR, it's just a different kind of experience. Um, solely because the SVR is sort of more laid back and stuff like that. But there's something about a G-Wagon which I want to find out more about and these are the perfect conditions to do it. Right, we've just quickly stopped off after that drive, uh, driving and speaking about the car briefly, and the first drive, which felt very, very nice. It felt very good indeed. It is very impressive and very cool to drive. But one thing I want to show you, and this experience is like this, which you're never going to have your whole life, and I can't even believe I experienced this myself. And that is the view where we are here in Austria is absolutely stunning. And it's moments like this, we're honestly just driving along. We actually thought, you know what? Let's jump out, let's take it in, because, come on, it looks absolutely unreal where we are. Look at this, it's stunning, the mountains and everything else, and then the lake is just cool, and then we just have this epic G350 there. I mean, what is this going, that's going on right now? It's so cool where we are. And it's a very, very, very good morning. Um, I've, I've woken up from my hotel room and uh, I'm still alive. This is what I woke up to today. It is unreal where we are. Honestly, I woke up and I couldn't believe it. The view that we have. Oh my god, it's mad. The sun, which is uh, just over there, just rising as we speak. It's something like minus 11. I'm gonna go and drive some very cool cars. Tom's driving, so uh, hopefully he uh, keeps it in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a shot. <laughs> Don't annoy her. We are away, we are away. And uh, this is the start of where we're just about to go fully on this off road course. Yeah, so hello, everybody. Have a careful here in first, left, and right hand in front of the wall. Snow, but pure ice underneath. She's tanking on. She's going quick. Look down there. That is not funny. No, no, no. If you that go... is not funny down there. No, She's no. tanking on. Come on, foot She's down. Like, foot no, down. mate. Come no, on, faster. No, oh my god. That's actually sick. So cool. That's actually cool. Look at the view. We made it. I didn't we shunt made... it. We didn't didn't shunt it. I'm gonna go next. <laughs> it's so cold, isn't it? I'm, I'm, not out for this. I'm actually beyond cold. You know, you know, just gone. It's gone past the point of being cold. But should we let's go like, over here? And all the sort of G wagons are just parking up at the top. <laughs> Look at the view. Look at that. How cool is that? It's just amazing, isn't it? It's properly, properly cool. Mine is sort of 15 now with G wagons. And everything else. It's going, just times like this. It's just incredible. I'm told I'm going, but I wanted I to take it the view. You what? I think I've my wrist. Have you hurt your wrist? Yeah, it really hurts. You hurt your wrist? Yeah, I think I might have fractured it. It's chaos. You wouldn't have fractured it. We're just driving back down the mountain. Tom's not being a great passenger. I don't. I don't like it. I honestly don't. I don't want to end up in a fireball at the bottom of the mountain. <laughs> Currently driving back down the mountain and it is epic. This car handles like a dream. We were just saying on Tom's video, funnily enough, is you could drop your kids to school and then you could just be like... In a small snowstorm. Hit a bit of, yeah, small storm, yeah. But I'm, we, I was hooning on the way up as well and hooning back down the mountain where we're going right now. And it's fine. Like everything everything is absolutely fine. And this is way more aggressive than anything you're ever gonna see on the on the roads. Yeah, the that's the thing. Way like we are like we are in the extreme conditions. And it's flat chat through some of the corners and it doesn't it's not bothered by it. That's first gear, down to first. Yeah, well you've learned now. Nice nice and nice and easy, down to first. It's just a really, really cool car. And like that's flat. Yeah. 
yeah, you yeah. didn't have that. No, I didn't have that. I nearly went to the bank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Well, <laughs> nice of you to admit it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Usually I'd be like, no, no, everything's fine. You but... claimed one earlier that you didn't have either. <laughs> no, don't do it again. But yeah, we we currently have ESC on because we we be travel otherwise. Yeah. I, I'd be you, chaos. Yeah, you'd be. If that was, I'd be absolute. Should the woman leading would look in her mirror and we'd be sideways. <laughs> She'd be like, what are they doing? You don't like going out the brakes, do you like that? I can hear the car just, just sorting everything out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so clever. It's it is sick. so clever. Um, but it has been a wicked experience. The views are epic. And it's one of those things where, yeah, Mercedes have literally sorted us out on an absolutely wicked trip. And, and And what, we, what the key to this whole thing is, is to get across just what the car is like and first impressions are good because obviously we are one of the first people to drive it we do want to get come across as you know we are we are we do joke around but we do obviously want to bring across the Sorry, opinion different of video. A, a different kind of video of you know what day-to-day -day living kind of is of it and it is good and yeah like i say it's just it's wicked isn't it it's if I didn't have the 63, I would fully, fully consider one of these. And I think if I ever downsized and decided to spend slightly less money on cars, which I don't know whether that would happen, I would happily consider one of these. Oh, that's not actually funny. Though. No, that isn't funny. I've told you it's not funny for the past half an hour. Genuinely, seriously, I came in, like, after... I've got to, I do have to focus a little bit while talking. But, um... God, I can't see anything ahead of me. But what I was going to say is that the SVR, this easily could be a potential replacement in the future not right now because of uh you know really just got it i've pretty much only just got it but in the future or when this video goes out it would have been another month ahead um yeah. but in the future who knows who actually knows it could be a replacement genuinely that's exciting let prices come down g wagon's just great no residuals are so good on the g wagon I know. because they're handmade in austria they don't actually punt out that many it's not like for example the SVR, oh, my they ears just going. churn them. My ears um, going. Yeah, we're going. I think there was a stat, something like I think there was with the old G63. Can you? Yeah. With the old G63, I don't think they were making that many. I think there was only about 60 cars a year. They couldn't okay, make that many because some poor bloke in Austria is just sort of putting them. Together. Very cool, they're handmade. Very, very cool. Mm. And the only, and it's the only car in the Mercedes range that's made out of Germany. And they still do it. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's There's so much heritage there. It's wicked. Do you know where the apex is, lad? <laughs> no, no, no. Archie, on a, don't, stop, stop. <laughs> Just behave. You're going to have a shunt. I'm hooning, lad. <laughs> Chaos. Bit on the brakes, Hankin. Bit on the brakes. Where's the apex head? Apex is over there. Come on, go and get it. No, you missed it. <laughs> you Billy, <bullied> that. Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Hooning it, you're on it, and it's and it's fine. Like it's actually really impressive. It's not like a, do you know what I mean? It's not. It's really good. Braking, nice straight line, nice straight line, Tom. And then, yeah, braking a straight line. I know that lad. Oh god. Oh. And you're off. Bit of a slide on the way out there. And then you're off. that. And there we have it. It is now time to head on my way back to England. What an amazing trip it has been. It's been absolutely incredible to get the chance to, yeah, drive the new G350. It really has. And what an impressive car, but just such an amazing snow experience. And sort of like the first kind of one that I've done. Um, will it replace the SVR at some point on my channel? Well, for now, no, because I've, I've obviously only just got it. But honestly, it's opened my eyes for the future I just don't know. There is a chance that maybe one day I will own one because I drove it through the snow and everything else and I've really had the best time ever. It's, it's just been very, very cool. The, the hospitality we've been looked after so well. Mercedes just honestly nail it every single time. Um, they really, really do. They're the kindest people and really, really do look after me. So thank you so much to you guys. Um, but not only that, we'll see what happens in the future. Who knows? Uh, it's up there. Um, it really, really is. And especially the diesel. Um, it sounds ridiculous because I've never actually done a diesel sort of review. It's not really a review, but on my channel, not so much. Obviously, the SQ7. Um, but it's just, it's, it's different. It's very impressive in many, many ways. So what we're going to do now is time to take in these views in an amazing place we've been, as in Austria. Um, 
and uh, yeah, it's time to go home. And unfortunately, don't have a chance to go skiing. It would have been cool if we had a little bit more time, but it's straight back to the airport, straight back to London. Uh, busy, busy, busy. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for being part of this and be part of this whole journey because times like this, I want you guys to come along for the whole journey because yeah, I just didn't really expect to be in this situation right now where I am, but I've loved every single minute of it. And I'm gonna take it all in and probably like many videos, watch them a year later and be like that was absolutely epic. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all very soon.